Swing bowling, a hallmark of the game, an art that sets cricket apart, that allows bowlers to move the ball in the air. Conventional swing with a new ball, reverse swing with a well-maintained old ball. But there was an inherent Achilles heel, over-reliance on the ball's condition. And yet one man with a slinging action defied over a century of cricketing tradition and got the ball to curl in the air, regardless of its condition. How does this unique action influence the way the ball swings? A new ball with a proud seam is a swing bowler's dream, but repeated impact flattens the seam, minimizing its effect on swing rendering the bowlers helpless against the brutal batters. Enter cricket's proverbial and literal curveball, made famous by the toe-crushing Lasith Malinga. His peculiar action meant that the ball was slung down the pitch with side spin around a vertical axis, as opposed to the usual upright seam. With the ball rotating clockwise, the airflow on the right is aligned with the spin, resulting in a higher airspeed. Whereas on the left, the airflow opposes the direction of spin, resulting in lower airspeed. Consequently, the pressure on the left is higher than that on the right, and this difference in pressure causes the ball to deflect to the right. This phenomenon is called the Magnus Effect, which makes swing a possibility at any stage of the game, regardless of the ball's condition. Just like a banana kick in football or a slice serve in tennis, utilizing the spin direction to enchant the ball, any ball, to crash into the batter's stumps if they're lucky and into their toes if they're not. Oh, it's a toe crusher! Which bowler stands out in your memory for their peculiar action? Comment below and stay tuned to Wicked to Wicked.